In this illustration, I want to talk about how the Surge Guard brand electrical protection system blocks a surge from getting to your RV. Surge protectors use something called a metal oxide varistor or a MOV to dissipate excess voltage. So it really comes down to how many MOVs are in a surge protector and how many joules can each MOV dissipate. I'm going to be speaking specifically about the Surge Guard 34951 model. It is the uh, 50 amp model. This version of the Surge Guard uh, has 12 MOVs and each MOV can dissipate 350 joules, and this is what gives it its joule rating of 4200. So let's look at what a surge event might look like. In this example, let's say that you're going to uh, take a 700 joule surge. Uh, the electricity will go through a fuse first before the MOVs actually see the spike. If the voltage of the spike is not excessively high, then the amperage will be relatively low and the fuse will not open. However, the surge is still blocked from entering your RV by the MOVs. Now, the MOVs will suffer some degradation. In this case, 700 joules is going to knock out uh, the first two MOVs right here. The MOVs are expended in parallel, which means that uh, if a spike uh, produces this 700 joules of excess energy, then basically the first two MOVs in the line uh, will be expended. But you'll have 10 more waiting for the next event or another 3,500 joules. So let's say that some time goes by and, uh, and you're in another situation where you, you take another 1,400 joule surge. Well, that's going to knock out another four MOVs. And uh, in this case, you've already had two knocked out. Now a total of six have been knocked out. So this leaves you with 2,100 joules remaining. This process continues as you take on surges. And the effects of these small surges will accumulate until the MOVs are exhausted, at which point the MOVs will short out and blow the fuse. Uh, once the fuse has been blown out, that will activate the uh, surge communication light on your surge guard unit to let you know that all of the MOVs have been expended and uh, this unit is ready to be replaced. Let's just take one more example here of a brand new 34951 unit uh, that uh, has 4200 joules of protection. And let's say that you take a, a good massive spike of 4200 joules or more. Uh, what's going to happen is that uh, with this larger surge, the amperage is going to be great enough to open the fuse and short out and fail all of the mobs immediately. This will then uh, open up and, and light the, the surge indicator light to let you know that this unit has basically sacrificed itself for the betterment of your RV and in which case it would be time to replace the unit. For more information on surge guard and electrical protection equipment, you can always go over to technorv.com.